we're going to go over an example of using modulus uh, that's called pseudo random number generation and the idea is that you're given some sort of um, modular equation some formula by which to create what's what are called pseudo random numbers and so here's my formula x sub n plus 1 equals 4 x n plus 1 that quantity mod 7 and our seed is x naught equals 3 so we're going to start with 3 this is pretty much the most straightforward application of modulus uh, that I can give you so let's go ahead and start doing it uh, I know right now that x naught is 3 that's given okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my formula to find x1 well all I have to do is take in this case x naught plug it in and then whatever that number is we're going to take mod 7 and <clears throat> that's easy enough to do I get 13 mod 7 and okay so our idea here is that uh, if I take 13 and divide it by 7 I get 1 with a remainder of what? Oh, sure, it's going to be 6. All right, now it's always interesting to look at this in terms of the division algorithm. So what we've just shown here is that 13 is equal to 7 times 1 plus 6. And we're looking for this remainder, right? Okay, so there I have x1. Now I'm going to use x1 to figure out what x2 is using the same procedure. 4 times 6 plus 1. That's my formula. I need to mod 7, that number. And that's simply 25 mod 7. Let's get rid of this thing a little bit. There we go. And again, so what I'm going to try to do is say, okay, what 25 divided by 7, well, that's going to be 3, uh, because 25 divided by 7 is 3. And what's my remainder? Well, I have 4 left over. And I want to write that with 4. Okay. So 25 uh, divided by 7 is 3. That gets me up to 20, 21. And to get up to 25, I've got to go four more. So that's my remainder. And again, using the division algorithm, we'll do it in blue because we did that before. What we're asking is, if I break this up into the decomposition according to the division algorithm, mod 7, I get 25 equals 7 times 3. That gives me the 21. And up to get up to 24, I mean, excuse me, 25, I have to add 4. That's the remainder we were looking for. Okay, so now we're going to keep going. And the idea with these is you keep going until you get back your seed, because eventually you will. And then you get to stop because, of course, you would just keep going and going and keep giving the same uh, numbers in the same order. Okay, so x3, my last answer was 4. So I'm going to plug in 4 for my xn. and I get 17 mod 7. Once again, my idea here is to take 17 and divide it by 7. When I do, I get 2 with a remainder of 3. Aha! So 3 is left over. And sure enough, that was my seed. So I started out with 3. Oh, let's before we write it out again, let's go ahead and show you this according to the division algorithm. 17 equals 7 times what number plus what number? Well, 7 times 2 gives me 14. If I add another 3, I get up to 17. And that's how I got this number. Another way I can get that number. Okay, so. <coughs> 
Now I'm going to write out my list of pseudo random numbers. As you remember, it was, let's do it in purple because we can. I, I started out with 3 as my seed. I got a 6, I got a 4, and I went back to 3. And that's going to go on forever like that in that pattern. And I am done.